everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're gonna be doing a Costco haul, baby. Good old Costco, I haven't been there in a good minute. Just in case you're new here or you missed it, I wanna explain how we do Costco or Sam's Club. I do the envelope system for our budget and I have this envelope called the stockpile envelope and every payday I stuff it I stuff it next payday stuff it and I just keep stuffing the envelope until I have enough money in there to go to Costco or Sam's Club and stock up for our emergency food storage or just things that we may need so this video was three months in the making because it took me three months to save up enough money for this Costco trip. I saved up a total of $550. I did not spend that much, but I just wanted to let you guys know how we do this, how we do Costco. We do not make a trip to Costco every month. We do not go every two months. I mean, it's, if we do, it's really rare and it's very small. Um, it's usually every three to four months we go so we can save up money over time. That way that it's easier on the budget and I know how much money I'm working with. The money that we have left over from this haul that we didn't spend, that's just going to roll over to the next trip. I'm keeping it in the envelope and I'm just going to add to it as we go. Another thing, if you are new here and you didn't know, I do not budget snacks with our grocery budget. I budget snacks separately. I have a snot, I have a snock. I have a snack envelope that I put money in. Each week it could be different. And the reason I do this is because snacks aren't necessarily a need. They're a want, they're an extra. So like maybe one week we have tight week financially, I won't put anything in the snack envelope because we, we don't need it. We need to focus on meals. That's why I do it separately. It works for us. It might not work for you, but I learned a long time ago that that's the best way that we need to do it. What I do for snacks a lot of the times, um, I don't buy snacks every single week. I wait for a good sale. The Dollar General always has a lot of good sales. So whenever I'm out and about, I can take my envelope and I just go get the good deal at the time when we have it. Kids don't eat snacks every single day. We're not really snacky people. And another thing that I do, I add it to the Costco or Sam's Club trips. And I buy it in bulk and I put it in our food storage that way that it's there when we need it. And if there's a week that we don't have snack money and we don't have any snacks up here in the main part of the house, I can just go down to the emergency food storage and get the snacks that I have bought in bulk months ago. Some of the snacks that you see, we have this little basket food holder. <laughs> in the kitchen and it has like our potatoes onions and then the top two are like for fruits and then snacks um so if you ever see it in the background and you see that top basket have like a couple of bags of the tiny bags of chips i buy those in bulk at sam's or costco and i have been working on the same box for about six months now at least i need to actually check the date on those because i'm telling y'all they last us a long time so if you ever see any snacks on the top little rack of that little tiered basket, that's why. Um, I've got comments recently, people asking questions about it. Like it's a bad thing. Oh my gosh, guys, she buys her kids snacks. I've seen them in the background. How dare she? Well, you know, I buy my kids snacks and I have said it a hundred times, a hundred times easily how we do our snacks because they're not a necessity. And we're really not snacky people. So I just want to explain a few things before you've seen the video. And now that I explained it, I'm done talking. I'm babbling brick today. Let's go. Let's go to Costco. Let's go to Costco. Buddy and our mama decided to come to Costco today. Okay, it is Costco time. Do you hear there's a rice shortage? I don't know what we'll do. I don't know, but let's try it. times does Colin have to go pee today at Costco? Let's keep count. Right now it's two. <laughs> Believe it, y'all. I finally ran out. Freedom, what's the best thing about Costco? The food samples. <laughs> the food samples. Yeah, the food samples. <laughs> 
Yeah. Watermelons. Yes. Who knows how to pick a good watermelon? We've tried every technique and it's just not something. Every, every, every different type of watermelon. Yep. It's all a game of chance. It has the dreaded star. Um, yes, please. <laughs> I didn't want salmon. I said it four times. I didn't want salmon! I said it four times! Mm -hmm. <gasps> nice. Howdy, we're back from Costco, and we spent $498. The most I think we've ever spent at Costco. But we had to stock up on some emergency pantry items, some goodies, and... I saved up for this for three months, so it's good. First, gotta always get those paper towels and toilet paper at the Costco. Non-food item didn't come out of the stockpile fund, but Colin's birthday is coming up, so we got this and and this. This is all. Of the stockpot goodies. Not those eggs, those are my chicken eggs. This was new and we tasted it in a free sample and it was bomb. And these they're no longer gonna sell on that Costco apparently. Two ninety seven for that huge bag. Baked pita crackers, Ryder and Braden seaweed snackies. By the way, these snacks will probably last months and months. Tomato paste, chicken apple sausage, black forest ham, turkey breast. I ain't never seen these there before, but they were just $7.99 for four, and I thought that was a deal and a half, so I got two of these pulled pork babies. So we got eight cans total, perfect for the pantry. A gigantic bottle of soy sauce, a watermelon. These are the absolute best chicken nuggets you will ever have in your life. They're 10 times better than Chick-fil-A. I said it. Back here we have the chicken melts. Apparently there is a shortage on rice. I don't know. I've heard that. And our local Panda Express has a sign up that says that they don't have white rice anymore. I don't know. But so we, every time we go, we usually get a big sack of this rice. Because you guys know we love rice. Got some butter. They have a really good deal on butter. This was very cheap. This was on sale this week. Laughing cow, have you laughed today? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, some the shiitake mushroom crisp. I got these like two years ago and they were bomb.com and I haven't seen them since and I've seen them again. Canned chicken breast for the emergency food storage. Peanut butter for food storage. Tuna. We got some maple syrups. I always gotta have that Hidden Valley Ranch. 18 pack of mac and cheese. Garlic powder, I better not run out. This is huge. Sweet Baby Ray's. Olive oil. A two pack of the veggie oil. I will not run out of trash bags for at least a year. This lasts me a year, I'm not kidding. Capri Suns and Lemonade. These two packs will probably last a good f four months. The kids don't drink them that often and hey, it's good to have sometimes. Give them a little treat. We have some Hellman's mayonnaise. This was some kind of deal this month. i never seen that before. I was intrigued. I got it. Dried mango and applesauce pouches. Boom, $498 for all of that. Plus, the old map result, the paper towels, toilet paper, and Colin's gift that you've seen. I lied to you, that was not $498 worth because Ryder and Braden wanted some salmon really bad, so we got the salmon tree and it was 21. This is a tree and it's very rare. So let's, let's see how this is. Salmon. So that was $498. Ah! Ooh. 
I about dumped it. Oh yeah, my. Him. He would have cried. <laughs> he would have cried. <laughs> okay. Um, we have tax free on all food items in Tennessee right now. And I know what you're thinking. A lot of states already have tax free on food. We don't. But August, September, and October, the governor has granted us tax free food. Thank you, Billy. Sorry, that was very sarcastic. Billy? Oh, I thought you said Willie. Like, hey, Willie. <laughs> Billy, not Willie. Oh, like, Anyways, so uh, that's why I did this big stock up right now for this month. Um, because it saved me around 50 bucks in taxes. Probably not that much. Maybe 40 bucks in taxes. But yeah. Tennessee taxes is ridiculous. It's been a rough one. I've been downstairs trying to reorganize my pantry. And I've been trying to get it all straightened up. And I've been trying to switch out the shelving from the plastic ones I had to really sturdy ones over the past few months. And... It's still a mess. I want, I really want to do a pantry tour for you guys because I'm working on it and I'm really proud of it. It's just not ready yet. Maybe I'll have it ready next month. I hope. But <laughs> for dinner tonight, we're going to be cooking that salmon. Like I said before, guys, we don't get that salmon, but maybe once a year. Oh, but no, it's probably been two years since we got that. So it's a treat. It's a treat. It's good to be frugal. I'm a frugal franny, but sometimes when you've been saving and saving and saving, it's just good to treat yourself because it's good for the soul. So every now and again, a good splurge like that salmon, it's, it's a good thing. I'm gonna serve the salmon with some sticky rice. So I got that cooking. I laid out some corn from the garden as well. And let me open this. Here's the salmon. It comes with, what is that? Salmon Milano with basil pesto butter. It's really pretty. These are three giant salmon steaks. Like, it's a... We might have a little bit of leftover for like a salmon bowl or something. But I'm going to go ahead and bake this. This is like the epitome of lazy dinner. I'm getting the salmon that's already seasoned. going to cook it from Costco. Garden corn. Just going to throw this into boiling water. And I'm doing sticky rice. I'm gonna bake this on 400 just like it says it says 25 it says 25 to 30 minutes i'm gonna be honest with y'all i've never cooked salmon that long i've cooked it for like 15 minutes have i been doing it wrong i don't know i have a meat thermometer that somebody sent me as a gift and thank god because i'm gonna check it to make sure it's right now corn's cooking my boo-boo surprised me with my favorite slush puppy. He had to run out and get a cable for the TV because he messed up a cable. I don't know. But he brought me back a slush puppy and I'm stained red now. Anyways, that's not what this video is about. I just wanted to explain why I look like a toddler that just ate a popsicle. <laughs> but anyways, I know how to pronounce salmon, okay? I know how to pronounce it. I know how to pronounce it. It's salmon. It's salmon. But my body, for some reason, puts the L in it. It, is, it drives me crazy. Okay, so you don't need to correct how I've been saying it this whole video. I know some of y'all going to be like, Brooke, I ain't right. And I don't blame me. It's not right. But my mouth says the L. I have to literally sit here and like concentrate on the word salmon, salmon. Because if I just say it without concentrating, it comes out of salmon, salmon, salmon. I can't help it. I know, I know. I just want to think that it's just the me, the slam. It's my tongue, it's my dialect. I don't know. Salmon. I'm going to cook salmon for dinner. It, oh. I had to think about it awful hard anyway. And the salmon is finished. Oh my gosh, see y'all, I said it. The salmon is finished. Ryder wanted a salmon bowl with his seaweed. Here is Dusty's and Brayden's. They're not sharing it, they just get the same thing. I worked so hard on that dinner, it didn't, it wasn't easy, I swear. It wasn't easy at all. Mm. Good stuff. Thanks. 
<laughs> See, you don't know that it was my lazy dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys. Remember, as always, be positive, be kind, be happy. And I'm going to go eat me a salmon bowl. Salmon.